Agora TV. The world is thinking. Max, I know you've heard Peter say that before. Do you do you do you agree with that? Do you think that you know entrepreneurs, your fellow entrepreneurs, are being su sufficiently ambitious? Um, I think there's lots more room. I think the uh, one of the things that has been fascinating to sort of read about recently for me is the sense of just insane abandon that people had felt during, for example, the beginnings of the space program in this country and Soviet Union, where I was growing up during the beginnings of the space program. Um, it seemed that people were extremely happy to put their lives on the line every day just to achieve a what seemed relatively incremental task in the service of a larger goal of putting the man in space or putting the man on the moon. And I think in recent years, I don't see that similar narrative played out anywhere in innovation, not in Silicon Valley, not in natural sciences, not, not in any of the area traditionally referred to as a hotbed of innovation. We hear a lot about the screen in the iPad 2, Today's leaked pictures sound very exciting, but uh, it is not that radical. And uh, the radical innovation that was seemingly just peppering the early part of the 20th century isn't quite the story of today. What's holding it back? I think the, uh, there's just a variety of speculation we can, uh, we can have right now on that topic. Um, my, my sense is that um, the, there, there's a certain bifurcation that always takes place in, um, in the minds of entrepreneur and sort of the short-term outcome versus the long-term outcome. And the balance has shifted from the long-term outcome to the short-term outcome. The other thing which, you know, as a uh, Bay Area libertarian, which is to say I'm not quite as libertarian as I probably should be, uh, <laughs> um, it pains me to say this, but uh, you know, it took Kennedy to uh, get out there and say, "Look, we're gonna we're gonna go to space. We're gonna put the man on the moon, or or, uh, or Khrushchev or whoever was on our side to uh, to do the same." And you don't have that today in the rhetoric of the U.S. government and no other government in the world, really, except for developing countries or countries that are rapidly coming up to speed. But what they're doing is they're basically saying, we're gonna be just like those rich guys in America. They're not saying we're gonna go way beyond and put a man on Mars, or there's no need. What they need is to feed their people and get them to the point where they are now competing successfully against the United States. And we are sitting pretty, we're already there. And so it doesn't seem like anyone is that interested in just going way out there.